Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, buenos dias, buenos tardes, buenos noches, especially tonight. We are going to be talking about yellowing of the citrus leaves. This question comes up a lot. Now, we do have that problem right now. Uh, we are in February, this is 2022, and we've got a lot of yellowing on our leaves. Let me see if I can get some more light here. There we go. So you can see, obviously, we've got a lot of yellowing leaves on this new growth. So there's a few reasons why citrus trees, especially young ones particularly, have a hard time with getting all the nutrients up to the new growth. So 2021, we had some really warm temperatures all the way through November and even into December a little bit. We were still highs in the 80s and 90s. And then we finally just all of a sudden clicked over and we finally cooled down. We got some rain and by Christmas time, we're finally getting those chill hours. So with those chill hours, citrus does not like to be cold. We do live in Southwest United States and citrus does really well, especially with our warm and even hot temperatures. And we got pushed with a lot of growth in the fall. And then all of a sudden we got the rain and this particular area in our backyard orchard has, we have a rain collection system. And you can see right here, we've got about hundred gallons, maybe 125, maybe 130 gallons worth of rainwater uh, collected here. Uh, I just need to, I just opened up this side panel just to show you uh, on the inside where it's a cascade system in these 30 gallon totes. And so all of this rain, we've got all that, and then all that rain gutter, all those going into the 125, about 130 gallons worth of rain collection. And the overflow goes right here into the orchard. And this whole area just got flooded. Um, so that's one reason. That's one reason why our citrus tree turned yellow. This is a sweet lemon. It's not a Meyer lemon, it's a Pomona lemon. But it got so much new growth on it. It's on a dwarfing stock, but that is clearly pushing... I'd say probably the 10 foot mark. I could probably jump and, and touch that top leaf. And all that water and all that energy just got shot up into the leaves. You can see in the center of the tree, there are a lot of the dense green leaves. And so all that new growth just got basically watered down. Plus, in addition to that, we are finally getting our chill hours. And citrus does not like cold, basically, when the nighttime lows reach around 50 degrees, citrus kind of shut down a little bit. They just don't like the cold. So that was the other reason why we're getting a little bit of the yellowing is all of that stunted growth, so to speak, is with that colder temperature, citrus just basically kind of shut down. We'll get the green back. Don't you worry about that. Now, we do grow organically. You can see down here on our orchard floor, we do have a lot of organic material and the worms provide all the nutrients and the biodiverse vitamins and minerals. Uh, we do put down some coffee grounds. Uh, we'll be doing that probably in the springtime. And that's actually coming up pretty quick. We are going to fertilize around Valentine's Day, probably that weekend. I think it's the 12th or the 13th. We're going to be fertilizing that weekend. We'll show you what we do with that. Uh, but those are basically the reasons why your citrus trees are going to be turning yellow. It's just either too much water, too fast, uh, especially during the growing season. Citrus do like uh, decent water and a lot of fertilizer, but they also um, don't need that much. We basically washed all the nutrients out of the ground here with all that rainwater that we got. Uh, we can replace it with a, uh, with a nitrogen supplement, but we do grow organically and this tree will recover. Citrus tend to be aggressive growers and very resilient and very forgiving. Now let me show you some of the springtime growth we've already had. This next week, we are gonna be hitting the 80s here in the desert southwest of Arizona. That Pacific high is gonna be pushing on through into the coast and we are gonna be warming up. And we've already had plenty of sunny days. And I do wanna show you just the beginnings. Let me zoom in on that real quick, hang tight. I do wanna show you the beginnings of some of the flower buds that are just starting to, you see the pinkish, purplish? Those are just the beginnings of flower buds on our citrus. So this tree is still definitely producing 
we've got that pretty much on all these leaves. In fact, let me show you, I saw earlier a good push of flowers. Where did that thing go? Hang tight. Over here on the southern exposure part of the tree, you can see our lemons are still hanging. Uh, we do have some more, some more little flower buds right there, just starting to peek out. So we are getting a little bit of hint of spring on our citrus. There's another one right there. Little hint of citrus blossoms. They are going to start taking off, uh, or usually around March, March, April-ish. The whole city here in Phoenix is going to be just drowned in the sweet smell of citrus. So that's really exciting to know that we are going to be hopefully getting a lot of lemons this year. Now this year we got about six. We did have, the first two years this thing was in the ground, we did have two hot summers in a row. There's the other one. We did have two hot summers in a row, so this tree just did not like all that heat. We, uh, we had two of the hottest summers ever on record here in the Phoenix, and this tree survived it. You can see we've got the dwarf sweet lemon, and like I said, this thing is about four years old. So just to recap, don't worry about your citrus trees starting to yellow, especially on the growing ends. Uh, they will recover, especially if you're watching this in early, early spring, late winter. Uh, it will recover, I guarantee it. Uh, in fact, you can see they are starting to turn green again. You can see the centers of them. They are pushing out that nitrogen. So they will recover. Just don't water your citrus trees during the winter time. They don't need it. They're not gonna be growing very much and you're just going to basically washing all the nutrients and then once we finally get out of those morning temperatures uh, anywhere above 50 degrees those citrus trees are really going to start uptaking those nutrients again citrus trees do like the warmth that's why they do so well here in the desert southwest growing zone 9b especially so i hope you learned something if you did please give this video a like we do appreciate the support another way to support us for free is to subscribe we do appreciate you doing that that is a free and painless way to support our channel we are trying to grow this channel of how to grow your fruit trees growing zone 9b on this channel amz backyard orchard and garden we do talk about more than just trees we talk about everything it does take to be successful growing your trees in your backyard talk about irrigation we talk about fertilizing we talk about everything organic yes you can grow organically we in the desert southwest of arizona like i mentioned we do talk about tips and tricks of what it does take to be successful growers and gardeners in your backyard so from my family to yours thanks for watching